Hey guys, Wayne here at the Diesel Stop. I wanted to take the time today and show you guys one of the other sponsors that uh, Project Black Betty's gotten here. And uh, these guys are M and H I N C. So uh, if you get the chance, go check out their uh, website there, and you just type it in like it is here, and you shall find them on the uh, web there, guys. So uh, this here is the uh, Dynamic Timing Advance Kit, and I'll explain to you real quick of how this works. Um, so you see on a, if you're in a diesels, you'll see a lot of guys that'll actually uh, bump the injection pump forward an eighth of an inch or uh, run a tooth off on their uh, timing gear on their injection pump. This kit right here will allow you to, uh, to advance the timing without having to bump your pump or uh, run your uh, gear an eighth off. So, uh, and then on top of that, this kit will uh, let you do let you uh, advance the timing and plus it'll let you keep your bottom end power and then uh, gain top end so yeah it's, this is a good kit all the way around um, so is how is how a diesel works here these uh, Cummins diesel to kind of give you kind of give you an idea here for the uh, people that uh, are more into gas motors that watch my videos um, diesels don't have vacuum they don't carry vacuum but diesels do have a vacuum pump on them so that's how this timing works on this uh, on this injection pump here is it works off of fuel pressure so by adding this uh, shim kit that M&H carries here uh, it'll actually change the uh, desired spring pressure and uh, let you adventure to get your timing advance here out of this uh, kit so like I said before it'll actually let you keep your bottom end and plus gain top end so uh, if you think about it guys like uh, the uh, little 350 Chevrolet they carry vacuum off the uh, distributor so uh, this is basically the same way on a diesel if you think about it in these terms um, kinda works the same way but it's just done on a uh, fuel pressure so all said and done if, uh, if you've got your truck set up right I've uh, read a couple of things on uh, some chat forums and stuff. Um, there's guys have been known to gain 40, 40 horses out of uh, this dynamic timing advance kit right here, and this kit's about probably about a 15 minute install. It's really simple and really easy, real easy to do. So uh, that's the uh, first little goodie right there. And um, the second one here is uh, a fuel pin and they do uh, like I said they do carry a line of uh, fuel pins here so uh, the fuel pin that I got here was the uh, M5 fuel pin this in here is called the uh, play pin and uh, like I said if you get the chance go check out their website and you can see the other uh, different fuel pins and stuff that they do have but uh, this one here like I said it's called the play pin this uh, this will give you 40 horses this fuel pin right here and uh, this fuel pin right here will, is very fast fueling and it allows fuel right away so there's uh, yeah, it's, this, this, this fuel pin right here will uh, let you have a little bit of smoke and a little bit of pleasure with uh, your Cummins so definitely a need to get item if you got a uh, first gen Cummins diesel so uh, anyhow with that being said guys um, the other things here are uh, govern springs and uh, th these are all modifications that's going to be done with the injection pump on the truck and uh, this little short spring right here um, it'll allow you to, to uh, change your RPM on your uh, Cummins to 3200 RPM they uh, come factory uh, right around uh, 2700 I know somebody's gonna, you know, give me a nudge about a RPM or two, but right around the 2700 RPM range on the uh, first gen Cummins, and uh, this little spring right here will let you uh, change that to uh, 3200. Here's here's another uh, govern spring, and this is the uh, 3800 govern spring, and this in here, like I said, will allow uh, 3800 RPM. Whenever you start getting into the, to the to that kind of RPM range you need to be thinking about some uh, 60 pound valve springs but this is the uh, 
the uh, the spring that we're going to run right here. So we're definitely going to be getting ourselves some uh, 60 pound valve springs for this uh, project, guys. And uh, I guess that's about it here at the diesel stop. If you get the chance, like I said, go check them out, M&H. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.